Hey there, it's E Squared Photography. I'm Erin. And I'm Emily, and we are here to keep things simple and fun. Have you ever wondered how am I going to get rid of all of those blemishes on a client's face or a scratch or something like that? Well, we're here to show you how you can do that using Lightroom. And we have a bonus for you at the end, so stay around. For the best photography tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications for future videos. Okay, so I'm gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you how we fix blemishes. So if we zoom in, this is my daughter, Myla. If we zoom in, you can see here and here she's got some dry spots and up here a little something and right here a little scab or something. This here is a mole, I wouldn't remove that. Um, so what I'm going to do to remove those and get rid of those, it's pretty simple. I'm going to actually go up here to this circle with the arrow pointed. This is the spot adjustment or the spot removal. So I'm going to click on that and you're going to notice when I click on that, you see a circle appear. Now you can change the size because obviously if I'm going to remove this one right here, I don't need that large of a size. You can change the size right here on the panel and it's going to change it or you can change it if you look I'm changing it right now with my mouse just going up and down and that's how I change it just because it's quicker and easier for me so after that after you change the size the feathering I always keep mine up a ways like around like 60 to 70 um, and the reason for that is is if you have it all the way down to zero let me just show you what's going to happen Let's say I'm trying to replace this and I click this, okay, and I try to replace it. What's going to happen is it's, you can't see it very well, but it's like an exact circle around it. So we want a little feathering so it's um, not super obvious that I'm doing that there. So I would just automatically set your feathering up to about 60 to 70, somewhere in there. Okay, and then the opacity, I always have up to 100 too. So now there's two different things. There's clone and there's heal. I always have mine on heal, and I can quick show you why that is. So if I have mine on clone, let's just say I want to, let's say I want to get rid of this mole for some reason, I'm gonna click on it. And then let's say it tries to match it. It tries to match it with a spot that's that's pretty darn um, similar um, to the spot you're trying to replace. But let's say it tries to match it. Well, let's just look right here. See how much lighter this area of her face is than over here? It doesn't appear that way, but it actually is. So it's not giving the color you want. Now, if for some reason it tried to match this way over here, that's obviously not gonna work. But now let me show you if I had it on heal, what it's going to do. And to delete these, you guys, all you do is once you have it selected, you're just gonna hit the delete button on your computer. Um, now if I did heal, okay, and click that, now I'm gonna go back to, I'm gonna drag this circle to what I want to be in that spot. So I'm gonna drag it up here. See how now you can't really see that it's lighter there? So it actually tries to match the color and the texture more. So that's why I always use heal. So now if I went up to the green here, see how it's not giving me the green? It's not perfect, obviously. You want something from her skin, um, but that's why I always use heal. Okay, so what I'm going to do is if I'm going to remove, obviously I'm not gonna remove that mole, but I'm gonna remove the other stuff from her face, I am going to make sure my feather's up Okay, and I'm gonna start here with this little one. And I'm just going to click on it and it usually finds a good spot. I do notice that, I don't know if that's a piece of hair or something's kind of a little rough there. I'm just gonna bring it over to this side and I'm gonna press enter on my computer twice and that's gonna get rid of it. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get rid of this one on her nose. So I'm gonna click and obviously we don't want that replacing with it. I'm gonna find a different spot on her nose, maybe up here. There we go, that's looking good. Okay, and then I have a couple more that I wanna fix. I'll fix this one. That looks good to me. And this one's a little bigger. And as you noticed there, 
Um, so let's say you have um, something that's not a perfect circle, like obviously this mold's a perfect circle that we could go over. Let's say you have something different. You can hold down and drag, and then it'll replace that whole area. So that's how I would fix her face. Obviously, if it was a older person, like a senior or a family, you could then whiten their teeth, you could soften their skin, but that's how I get rid of the blemishes. So this is the picture. So if I can do the before and after here, you can see here is the, that is not the before. Let's see. Oh, it's not letting me show you the before because I had it edited. So let's just reset. So watch this now. There we go. They're back. And now they're gone. So then once I fully edit the image, it's going to look something more like this. So that is how you remove blemishes. So now that you know how to get rid of blemishes, we have something special just for you. In the description below, we have a Lightroom cheat sheet that's going to give you the step-by-steps on how we edit and then some other bonuses as well. We want to know what is one of your biggest frustrations when it comes to editing your photos. Comment below. If you liked this video, make sure to like, hit subscribe, and share with a friend so we know to make more videos just like this one. And if you don't follow us on our Instagram page at esquared.photography, make sure to do that because we post a lot of bonus videos there as well. We will see you next time.